Absolutely. Any observances as you uh, as you kind of look through this, other than that which we have already shared? Um, and then I'd love to pick your brain uh, before it turns to complete mush on any trends that you saw uh, within these applications. You've already called out the trend of uh, just really good work across the, the board on, on many different levels. Um, and uh, uh, and we've talked about the fact that they're doing it in this time, but uh, trends uh, other that you see or want to make sure that John shares with the board uh, in December. I think um, just as a, a general comment, it doesn't um, apply uh, to the same degree for, for each organization, but definitely a, a, a strong trend toward um, uh, further community engagement and out, outreach um, um, and um, getting people more involved in the arts. Uh, anywhere from a therapeutic aspect to uh, just um, helping um, expand uh, understanding and, and um, involvement, even if it's at a hands-on level. Are you saying that you're seeing that as a trend um, that you observed or that you were looking for and did not find? Um, I, I saw it as a trend, um, I think, that, that I observed in, in these applications. Um, just wanted to make sure I had it straight. Thank you. Any other comments along those lines? I um I want to find my notes, which include the fact that I must remember to wish Carrie a really happy birthday. Happy <laughs> birthday tomorrow. <laughs> You're going to be celebrating <laughs> even more than normal, I'll bet you. Um, having and by myself. <laughs> Say it again. And by myself, because it's a pandemic. <laughs> we'll come. Well, I mean, I'm my husband, but. But with uh, with probably surrounded with lots and lots of good wishes from many many different directions as you yes. as you uh, rejoice in solitude. <laughs> um, can you, Carrie, just just because it's me and I'm curious, uh, you mentioned that the museum, the Chippewa Valley Museum, is going through some uh, shifts, and I just wondered if you could give two minutes on that before I ask a couple other questions of the group. Sure. Um, today we closed to be appointment on open by appointment only. Um, so we had been open with regular hours. Now we are locked and you have to call in advance um, just to uh, do more control at the door and get staff and number of volunteers. We're um, pausing with volunteers. You have volunteers who normally staff the front desk. And so volunteers are gonna take a break until um, at least early December and likely longer. And then we've, um, so that makes it so we only need one or two staff here at all. So, so that was a shift that was happening this week and went, went live today. So while I was reviewing, I could see t other team chats flying in with staff saying, asking about how to do the press release. I did not answer because I was not a part of that conversation, <laughs> but so, so are we are furloughs uh, involved? Pardon me? Are furloughs involved at this point? No, no. Good. The museum, we've been very, so we recently got a cultural um, organization Organizations grant. Organizations grant, I saw that. Congratulations. Yeah, and so that and an NEH grant, because uh, we were able to kind of straddle the line a little bit like 10 chimneys. So we got an NEH grant earlier. And so we're okay yeah. until until uh, spring or summer. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me out you. I just, <laughs> I just couldn't let today go by without finding out a couple answers there. Um, 
I will heads up everybody. I'm going to send you an evaluation form next week when you've had time to let the kind of stuff settle a little bit. And I would be grateful for your feedback on those forms in addition to kind of the top of mind stuff that you're sharing right now. Um, and I would like to open this up to um, those very well-disciplined observers who normally would be sitting in chairs quietly around the table as we are all in one space and, you know, sitting on their hands and biting their lips. Um, if you observers have anything that you would like to share about this process, um, observations, whatever, um, we would welcome that at this point too. Um, and please know that the scores that Dale just shared are recommendations from this panel to our board, or will will soon be in that form. Um, and this is not for public uh, dispersal. It is um, it is the work of this day's panel. Um, so with that caveat, uh, if Kathy Foley is still on the line, and I'm betting she is, um, Kathy, I also am going to out you out and say congratulations. Um, Kathy received the um, uh, award, an amazing, this is of the, uh, sorry, the Woodson Museum in, uh, in um, uh, Wausau. She received the um, American Association of Midwest Museums uh, Distinguished Career Award uh, today at noon. And uh, yeah, Kathy, I hope you're here. If you're not, I'm still going to go on record as congratulating you. Um, She's not according to the participant list, but oh, I'll accept in, in absentia. That's on awesome. Her behalf. Okay. Well, those the participant list. Um, yes. If any of those other folks who are there would like to unmute and share something, that's fine. Don't. No pressure. Honestly, you don't need to. It's fine. <laughs> Just wanted to give you an opportunity. <laughs> All right. Well then. Um, on that note, uh, I I will say that I've gotten a couple of emails from people. This is the world we live in. Uh, who had been sitting in on the process earlier um, and didn't know what their score was going to be, but uh, were very deeply impressed by um, by the way you moved through the uh, the review and uh, and your comments, uh, the critical that were constructive, um, all of that good stuff. So kudos to you for that. Thank you, Karen, and I wanted um, I'm. So glad I got to chat with everybody today and be a part of the panel. And I thought that today went really well and it was great to um, work with all of you today. Yeah. Hey, Dale, can you take the list down? Yep, I sure can. Thank you. She doesn't help Lindsay one iota. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was fine. It's, it's fine, I can't see anything anyway, so. <laughs> yes, uh, Lindsay, because we can see you. I really enjoyed um, uh, being a part of the panel, and um, I had be at the advantage, unlike you, Lindsay, be able to see everybody. And Jim is the happiest panelist. <laughs> it, was, it was lovely having him on a panel. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I love you. Adalia, you made it through your first one here, and uh, thank you. Your <laughs> comments were so helpful. Yeah, thank you for this opportunity. I again, I really enjoyed being here, and I feel like I have absorbed and learned so much. So, um, and so exciting to um, see all the that is happening for the arts specifically in our state um, mm -hmm. on like various levels of size and scale. So, yeah, thank you. Welcome. Delighted to have your voice in the mix, and that is true of all five of you. Thank you, and thank you, Chair. Potter for uh, well, let, yes. let me just say that um, I love the way you all shared uh, the uh, conversation. It was it was really well done. Uh, you were all very well prepared, uh, but there was a, a, a real sharing that isn't always the case. Uh, so really well done. Thank you. And Karen, let me just say, because uh, we, we give kudos to the panel all the time for the work that they do to prepare, but it must be said that the work that you do is aided by the fact that you have a staff at the Arts Board, Karen and Dale and Caitlin today, um, who are so good at what they do. Um, and John, thank you for being the chair again. So uh, thank you for uh, those comments. Yes, absolutely.
It does help when we've got some amazing. Yeah. Um, You're welcome. Thanks, Jan. Well, thank you for, for the um, effort that it takes to try to push the money out there, definitely, and, and get it to these organizations. It sure helps when there's some amazing organizations to celebrate. So yay yeah. us. Yay, weekend. Yay, you. <laughs> Look for something from me next week. But uh, meantime, have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I, Thank I you. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks again. I'm going to, I'll stay on to usher everybody out, but uh, yes. Mwah, thanks. <laughs> I apologize for letting the leash slip off. I suddenly became Mr. Didactic for the last half dozen. <laughs> you know, I actually didn't hear didacticism, Jim. I mean, that might have been the interior uh, tone that you were hearing, oh. but it didn't communicate. Did you, John? No, no, not at all. I No, no. You served very well, so thank you. Thank you, friends. Stay well, please. Yes, you. and you. Both. It's great to spend time with you. Ditto. All right, take care. Bye. Karen, I've got Karen, I've got three items. Are you are you fried to a crackly crisp, or would you like me to just quickly go through Let's those? chat. Let's chat. So uh, there was at least one incomplete 990. Is there a way that we can assure that that doesn't happen? Uh, so yeah, I mean. It, we try to catch it this year. It was virtually impossible to 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 go through all of them. Uh, we really do count on the applicants or the um, the um, panelists. Panelists, yes, yeah, to, to catch them and, and let us know. And good. it's very possible, John, that I just um, did not underline that strongly enough in the orientation with them. Uh, but I will tell you also that uh, several of them had to wait until. November um, to to get really deep into the review, so they may not have caught it until oh, you know yesterday, frankly. Yep. Or yep. yep. Yes, that and the strategic plan. That's that is um, this is a best practices grant, uh, and and I by the way we're still recording, so I'm I'm putting this out there, but it's it's uh, it's in the guidelines. This is a best practices grant, and so to have. Um, the best practice of, of organizational planning and requiring an organizational plan and not having an organizational plan submitted, I'm assuming that that, um, that, that absence uh, was reflected in the scoring uh, of the applications. Yes. And I, I think that it is looking quickly yes. through that. But um, yeah, that, and that's, this is something where I, I would love to 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 say I'm I'm telling myself, but I'm not sure that it's true that I will be able to find the time to go back to each of those that I have on my handwritten list here and say, you know, let's talk about planning. What can we do to help you get to that point? What's going on? We get that right now. This is a this is a pandemic. This is a nobody has nobody knows what's really going to be happening in three months. So you can't plan. A th you're, you're, this is not the time to do a three-year strategic plan starting now, as as we know, right? At the Arts Board, we've postponed ours for a year, but we are still working, you know, within the structure of our current plan. We're just going to extend it. Right. Um, so I don't know. It's a little challenging. But I, I think that's right. So the other thing I noticed, the uh, discrepancy between the 990 and whatever financial report uh, they had, and I and I get that how uh, that would be the case that there there may be a discrepancy, but then some sort of explanation of uh, what's going on, right? Yeah. Um, the uh, the other thing I heard more than once was the uh, uh, how is uh, programming informed and determined, for for lack of a better term, I'm going to call it programming uh, themes in some cases. Um, but, you know, is, is that uh, the board, is that the artistic director, is that uh, from the audience feedback, all three? Um, but that came up more than once, that if, if there could be some clarification of that. And I, I, I'm just tossing that out as to how to refine the question, perhaps. Yes. In fact, um, I, I would like to, um, I'm going to be sending you the evaluation form, too, and maybe so early next week. So maybe you and I could 
Will you check in with me on that question in sure. a week? Because um, I would like to have something to share with the board when you um, when you and I report to them on this panel uh, along those lines. I think that's going to be really helpful. There were a number of very concrete, helpful things here. Uh, and I love the fact that this program and this process has evolved to the point where um, we are dealing with uh, issues at this level, as opposed to <laughs> as opposed to some of the other levels that we have worked through over time. So now we've gotten to this point. I think this was the best panel that I've uh, sat in on. So they were whatever awesome. that's worth. They were awesome, and the applications were too. I just just the fact that people were able to sub submit them this year. Just want to say, yes, wow, indeed. So thank that's you. That's all I have. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Happy weekend. See you soon, and you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.